Well, we've escaped the studio to come to the Fox Theater, where we're always welcomed by the gracious Megan Ketcherside, who is our press hostess here for it, and her, her uh, intern, Julie, is with her also. And we very much appreciate what they do to let us sit here after the show is gone. And while they're, they could go to a party right now too, but they stay here <laughs> to help us do a little review of this. We've uh, seen another, another jukebox musical tonight, haven't we? It's called On Your Feet. Uh, it's a sort of a strange title. I have trouble remembering this title because it doesn't have a whole lot to do with the show, it seems to me. But anyway, there is a lot of dancing. It's the Emilio and Gloria Estefan Broadway musical. Uh, doubly theirs because not only is it the story of their lives and careers in music, but also they had a major part in putting the show together, producing it and writing it and all of that. Of course, she wrote a lot of the music for this because that's what it is. It's all the songs that uh, the Miami Sound Machine and Gloria Stefan uh, were popular for. And it, it basically is uh, chronological, a little jump back right at the beginning, but it shows us first as a girl, uh, still in Cuba, I believe, and dancing and singing. And then as she grows up and uh, meets uh, Emilio and begins to work with his orchestra. And uh, her mother, who at one time had almost had a career in music herself, but her father wouldn't let her, uh, and she's very suspicious of this whole thing uh, and is, uh, doesn't want her daughter to go on the stage. Uh, but uh, her grandmother is very supportive. And one thing we were very happy to see was that the grandmother is played by Alma Cuervo, who has done several shows at the Rep, one quite uh, different style of show. Yes, the this. Sisters Rosenzweig, where she played a super sophisticated uh, international banker. And here she was this wonderfully warm, earthy Cuban grandmother and completely convincing in both roles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that, that's the dramatic tension in this. And uh, of course, I don't think we can consider this a spoiler because it was so much in the news when there was a terrible accident that uh, the family was in, but Gloria Stefan had a severe damage to her spine and there was some question about how well she would recover. Uh, she did, uh, with all the help from family and doctors and, and physical therapists. Very, very touching scene with the physical therapist at one point. Uh, it's, I, I find quite interesting the time when they were trying to cross over from primarily having the Cuban and Latin audience uh, in this country to doing their songs in English. There was strong resistance. Nobody would want to play a song that they did in English because it sounded like Latin music, but it didn't, wasn't in Spanish to appeal to that audience that they want. And a fascinating series of scenes in which they, to, to try to make themselves known, they go to a bar mitzvah and an <laughs> Italian wedding and a Shriners convention performing this song, which then becomes a big hit, uh, and they're quite successful with it. So uh, that, that was some lovely, uh, lovely little uh, uh, variety that got into the thing. I was also very impressed with the uh, scenic design by David Rockwell and the lighting designer Kenneth Posner and the projections by Daryl Maloney. Uh, as we are, expect now, we, want, we don't wait for scene changes now in the theater, certainly not in the musical theater, not in the Broadway theater. And with the combination of the projections, the scenes, I mean, there was a moment when a tree suddenly appeared at one point, and I, I don't know how they did that, but very effective all the way through. It was always, uh, uh, quite fascinating. The show moved, of course, with the Latin beat going all the time. Uh, pretty much the songs either just made sense as something they were doing in a show or there were some integrated into the, into the story that was going on. So um, I, think, I think it's a, a good evening here at, uh, at On Your Feet at the Fox. Absolutely. Let's hear some of that music too. Get up! 